Today, we're going to take a little drive around Rocky Point Recreation Area. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This place actually has three names. Uh, it's run by the Bureau of Reclamation, part of it. Another part's run by the state. It's called the Belfouche Reservoir. It's also called Ormond Dam, and it's called Rocky Point Recreation Area. So I guess Ormond Dam is the big pile of dirt that stops up the river, and then Belfouche Reservoir would be uh, all the water that collects behind the Ormond Dam. And Rocky Point Recreation Area would be what the state calls when they make a campground here. That's what we're driving around to see this morning. Down there fishing? Yes. Ormond Dam was finished in 1911 and at the time was the largest earth filled dam in the world. Cottonwoods. I don't know what it is about that, but I like it. Now we're driving around to the far side of the lake. It's about five miles on this really good gravel road. See if we can find a place to go catfishing over there. We used to fish off of this bank, but the water is so far away that that's not happening. Uh, these cracks here, it looks like we could be falling off into the abyss any moment. I don't know. Actually seems kind of dangerous standing here. Well, here we are down on the beach. The water level of this reservoir is really, really low. and. Um, don't know if that's from drought or irrigation or what, but blue sky in South Dakota in October. There's something about this crack that just intrigues me. Like, um, I'm waiting for it to fall down. Geologically temporary. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be standing here. That might fall down right on me. So what's the fishing report? This is not because of a drought. This is because they emptied this thing to, for irrigation. Oh. So it's normal. So it's normal that it's down this far? Yeah. And this isn't... So we could find out what time of the year it's back up. Yeah. And they've been down there for an hour and they haven't caught anything. Yeah, well, he's been over here for three minutes. He hasn't caught anything either. Whoa, check this out. It's a pair of scissors. This is going to be part of my fishing tackle box for a long time to come. Oh, and they work. Look at that. Laying in the water all this time. It must be stainless steel. These are probably surgical scissors. Suture scissors, maybe they're called. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. That's what I'm going to call them. Suture scissors. I've seen a lot of campfire circles. I've seen them made out of rocks. I've seen them made out of concrete. I've seen them made out of big old steel truck tire rims. But I've never seen one made out of mud. Hmm. So, we're going back towards the motorhome. We didn't find a good place to go catfishing. It's too windy, too shallow, or there's no fish. We're going to go back up here and see if we can find a place to catfish along the river. There's some trees up here. We're going to try it there. Well, it was a great place for a nap. 
Not so much for a fish. Uh oh, here's a guy that's having a problem with his little white car. Front wheel drive way down in the mud. going to have two of them stuck. Well, they got him out in all's well that ends well. Guy in the white car is lucky, lucky guy that uh, two pickups with four-wheel drive came along to help him today. Searching for a place to go catfishing this morning. Down there on the river right beside of us, it was way too fast. And I think I finally found where to go catfishing.